What's going on everybody? It's your favorite dating coach, Elliot Scott, and as you can see by the title below, we're going to, well, I guess on the screen too, uh, science is playing your fine ass, your fine ass, like a violin, right? Uh, coach Sexy Elliot Scott, I don't know why I crossed that out, because it's true, hold on, is there a way I can undo that? Uh, boom! <laughs> Okay, so I wanted to do it like this because it's going to give you a little more insight, a little more depth um, on this topic. I know a lot of you want to know if you're being played or if he's even serious um, about you. So that's why I'm doing this. I'm stepping it up a little for you guys, okay? Now, I don't know how good my presentation skills are, but let's go with it, okay? Shit, see? Hold on. Shit, 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 shit. Made it. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is the fact that a lot of people don't understand what playing actually is. Um, playing, I guess it's intentions, right? And it's very hard to find out. But I am a big believer that a guy is not, quote-unquote, playing you um, just because he says he doesn't want a relationship, right? If a guy likes you but he doesn't want a relationship, he's not playing you. And on top of that... Um, well, I say right here, those are two completely different things, which I can jump into. But I also say here that just because he's sweet, he's nice, he initiates, basically all the shit he does in the beginnings, I know you hear it in all my videos, and I know it happens to you ladies, where a guy shows a lot of interest in the beginning and then pulls away, that doesn't mean he's playing you. And going back to the idea of liking you versus relationship, again, I say this in a lot of videos, I'm 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 seriously a broken recorder saying the same thing over and over and over. I am sorry, but liking you is something I cannot help. Okay, um, I like you. You're doing things right. It's emotionally based. Okay, uh, I'm going to obviously take advantage of that fact of wanting to be around you and wanting to hang out with you because you make me feel good. That's not a bad thing, but a relationship. Okay, is a completely different thing. A relationship is a obligation. It is a standard. It is a lifestyle. I say this to all my clients. And some guys just don't want to sign up for that lifestyle. Now, of course, a lot of you would say, well, if that's the case, then why is he sticking around? That's how he knows he's playing me. But we'll get into that, okay? Now, the second thing I have here is, okay, well, playing you is leading you on, selling you on the idea that he wants a relationship. Think of it as a bait and switch. And again, a lot of women will say, well, he's being nice, he's being sweet, he's initiating, he's, you know, he's doing all these things, he's selling me in the idea. Actually, he's not. He's doing it because he likes you. Again, it's intentions. Um, that's the hard thing to decipher here. I, I personally do not think that a guy doing all those things means he's playing you. I'm doing it because I like you. I want to see you. You make me feel good. I think you're fun to be around. You're good to talk to. You're good company. You got some good sugar walls. Whatever it is, that's not playing you. Playing is the bait and switch as I have down here where he starts to paint the idea through more than just actions. Where he starts to say things like, I can see myself with you. See, that's here's the difference. That's direct. If I tell you I like you, there's no other way. To, I mean, I can be bullshitting you, but there's no other way to decipher that besides the fact that I like you. Okay? You're, oh, I gotta, I'm not going to let my cat in. Screw my cat. Um, so that's straightforward and to the point. You can't beat around that. The first, the first bullet point, you don't know where he, where he stands, okay? But when a guy says things like, I see myself with you, you'd make uh, a great girlfriend, that's a big one, right? Obviously, he's selling you the idea. Um, our kids would look so cute together, or not together, but our, we, we would have good kids together, cute kids together. Uh, I want a relationship. Yeah, when he starts saying that kind of shit, now you got a problem. Now you got a guy who is kind of painting the picture in a, another, uh, a, a, you know, a second or third dimension here. You know, it's two, th two or third dimension or whatever. It's not just actions. I think actions alone are very important and they dictate where a guy stands. As you always hear me say, go by his actions and not his words. But his actions can mean you know, hey, I like you, I'm interested in you, that's why I say look at actions, but it doesn't mean he wants a relationship, okay, and that's where women uh, misconstrue things, they think, okay, he likes me, I like him, we're talking, it equals relationship, that's not the case, okay, so, 
The next thing I have is also if he uses this logic, he is playing you. I don't want uh, I don't want you to date. Uh, what, what the hell am I saying here? I don't want to date you, but we can end up um, or we could be exclusive in terms of hooking up. Write your friends with benefits, and he says I don't want to date you, but you know we're not going to mess around with anyone else. And of course, you're going to go deeper into that. He says, "Okay, we aren't dating, of course, but uh, you know, I like the or I don't like the idea of you talking to other guys. I don't want you to talk to other guys." Now, in reality, what he's doing here, this is a player move. It's like he's going to say, "Well, I could talk to other people because I mean, I'm single." And he's not going to say that, but that's the logic he's going to use if it comes up. When you're being too clingy, when you're saying something, when you're saying, "Hey, I want a little more, uh, uh, a little more." Uh, effort on your side, a little more consistency. He's gonna, he's gonna tell you, well, chill, hey, chill out. I'm single. I can do what I want. Or when you call call him out for co talking to another girl, he's gonna, this is a pure manipulating tactic, right? He's gonna turn it around on you and say, hey, I'm single. I can do what I want. Or why are you acting like that? You know, you know we're not together, right? He's gonna pull all that bullshit. But of course, at the same time, he's not expecting you to do it. So he's saying, I don't want you to talk to anyone. Because, you know, I mean, that's just not cool. But if I do, I don't want you to get mad because I am single, so I can do what I want. Guys pull this bullshit all the time, and women fall for it. They justify the fact that, okay, he's a, he's a decent guy. I'm going to believe him. And I'm not saying not to believe him. It's case to case. I mean, there are some guys who do mean this um, and things like that. But I do know a lot of guys who use it as a as a repellent for competition. Okay, so what I'm just trying to say with this is if a guy says that, um, I'm not saying he's necessarily lying, but do take it with a grain of salt because this is something a lot of players say. Just be Listen, the logic basically here is just because he says it doesn't mean he's a player, but all players say this. That's the logic here. Okay. Important. Importante. See my Spanish there? Importante. Uh... Uh, porque, no, so, okay, just because he says or he shows a lot of interest in the beginning then pulls away, that also doesn't mean he uh, he's automatically a, a player or he has played you. Uh, could he have? Yes, you bet your ass. You know, if, I mean, if a guy shows a lot of interest and he pulls away, I mean, that is something players do. Again, the logic is not all guys who pull away are players, but all players will pull away. Okay, at the same time, this could mean a lot of things. This is why I'm saying clarity at the bottom here. I'm saying clarity is very important because, you know, maybe he did like you, um, but something happened. Or maybe he does want a relationship, but the more he got to know you, he realized, okay, this isn't the girl. If that's the case, he does not owe you. He owes you an explanation, absolutely, which is why I say down here, if you can get a guy who can communicate, that's a blessing. But he does not owe you a relationship, okay? He owes you an explanation, but not a relationship. There's a lot of reasons why guys pull away. So, again, don't think that just because he's showing a lot of interest in the beginning, which is something guys always do. It's just natural. Guys do it. Uh, uh, and then he pulls away. That doesn't necessarily mean he's the bad guy, okay? And, of course, finally, the last thing here, I have a did he play me checklist. Just kind of all the stuff I went through just now. Um, now, of course, if the guy says he wants a relationship or he said it in a profile, um, that's pretty. That's a pretty. It, if he says that, and again, and then he plays your ass, well, obviously that's a player. But you have to go back to this last thing I said here. This is why clarity is so important. That's why you have to go back to this. And understand that just because he pulls away, it doesn't mean he doesn't, or uh, he played your ass, right? Um, you have to look at this part. Or shit, what the hell is this? You have to look at this part, okay? The fact that, did he actually play me? Did he build the idea of a relationship, which I say right here? Uh, did, he paint the, uh, did, did he paint the picture of a relationship in future? If he did that, that kind of goes back to the first part, which is, yeah, he, he bullshitted me. <laughs> he played me like a fucking violin, that son of a bitch. Six son of a bitch. Uh, also, did he have something to gain from it? Um, now, of course, you all will say, oh, yeah, it's sex. You know, but at the same time, like, maybe a guy will have sex with you, um, but he will continue to talk to you. So I wouldn't say it's sex. You get what I'm saying? I mean, like, where the relationship you felt was more than sex. If you felt the relationship was more than sex, then he probably didn't have a, actually I would say if it was more than sex and there was consistency and there was depth 
and things like that. I would say actually he probably didn't play you. He probably just lost interest. Uh, so that's a good, I, sh I should have put that in there. Thank God I'm saying it in the video. I truly believe at least if there's death and there's, and there's a uh, rapport and there's chemistry and it's over a long period of time where you're seeing a guy show efforts and invest his resources, time, energy, money, um, and all that kind of stuff into you again over a long period of time. I would say actually that he probably, you know, it wasn't sexual based, right? There's more to the relationship than sex. I would actually probably say he just lost interest or something happened. He probably didn't play you because a guy would not put that much effort or uh, yeah, into playing someone. And of course, as I say down here, do you have clarity? So you actually know what's going on. And I think what I just said actually can provide probably 40 to 50% of the clarity. It's always better if the guy tells you. But again, you don't know if he's bullshitting you or not. But it is nice to get clarity in two forms of the fact that, okay, you know what? We actually had a good thing going. So I don't, I really don't believe he played me because he invested so much into it for just sex. That would be stupid. And trust me, it would be. Uh, and at the same time, the guy says something like, hey, I like it. I'm just not feeling it. It ran its course or, uh, you know, blah, blah, whatever the guy, you know, excuse uh, the guy uses. But yeah. So with that being said, ladies, tell me if you like this. Leave a, th uh, a thumb, well, thumbs up, thumbs down. Don't really matter. But leave in the comments below if you actually like this form uh, or this way, this kind of, uh, what, is this? what the hell is this called? This type of video. It's called a video. Um, yeah, but if you like this, uh, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. I would appreciate a comment below, no matter what. Anyway, you're all great at commenting. Um, if you haven't yet, please subscribe. I love you. Take care and peace.